welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History. Now, where am I taking you back to today? Well, I'm taking you back to the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. But on this day in Tudor history, the 14th of April, 1565, astrologer, astronomer, mathematician and magician, Edward Gresham was born in Stainsford, Yorkshire. Now, Edward Gresham is known for his treatise on the planets, um, which is called Astrosterion. I hope I pronounced that right. And also his astrological almanacs, which were published between 1603 and 1607. Gresham's biographer, Bernard Capp, writes of how his 1605 edition, which sadly no longer exists, apparently foretold the gunpowder plot and in fact was so accurate in its foretelling of this plot that Gresham was suspected of being involved in it. So interesting. Now here are some facts about Edward Gresham. It is thought that he was educated at Trinity College, Cambridge. He had homes in Stainsford, Yorkshire and in Thames Street, London. His 1603 treatise, Astrosterion, or A Discourse of the Falling of the Planet, showed that Gresham um, favoured the heliocentric system put forward by Copernicus. When accused of being an atheist, Gresham claimed to have written at least two religious treatises, Sabbath days exercises and positions in divinity, although they were never published. As well as being a mathematician, an astronomer and astrologer, he also practised medicine and magic, although perhaps the magic was actually witchcraft. In 1611, Frances Howard, who was the wife of Robert Devereux, third Earl of Essex, was in need of a magician. She wanted a magician's help to get her out of her marriage. Her previous magician, and I love the fact that people had magicians, her previous magician, Simon Foreman, who'd allegedly um, helped make um, a man called Robert Carr fall in love with her, had died. And now she needed a new magician, someone to step in so that she could get an annulment from her marriage to the Earl of Essex so that she could marry Robert Carr. Gresham was that man and he is said to have made her husband impotent and in 1613 the marriage was ruled unconsummated due to Essex's impotence and an annulment of the marriage was granted. Three months after the annulment, Francis married Carr who'd just become Earl of Somerset. It was also said that Gresham used his skills as a magician to get rid of courtier Sir Thomas Overbury, who was a friend of Robert Carr and who was opposed to the idea of Carr marrying Francis and was vocal in his opposition. After refusing a diplomatic posting from King James I, Overbury was imprisoned in the Tower of London and he died there on the 15th of September 1613. It was rumoured that he'd been poisoned and that Francis was behind it. It's alleged that the count Countess had employed a man called Richard Weston and two others to obtain poison and to put them in food sent to Overbury at the Tower. Now, this Richard Weston was an associate of Gresham and before his death, Gresham had gathered together his baubles, his magical items, things he used in his practice of magic, such as pictures in lead and wax and plates of gold of naked people, crosses, crucifixes and other such items, had wrapped them in a scarf and had given them to Weston with instructions to bury them so that no man might find them. So he were obviously... Weston was a trusted friend of his. He was a man that was close to Gresham. However, Overbury died in September 1613 and Gresham died in that January. He died on the 13th of January 1613. So he cannot be held directly responsible for Overbury's death. Weston ended up being executed for his involvement in Overbury's death and the Countess and her husband Carr were imprisoned. 
Gresham was buried on the 14th of January 1613 at All Saints the Less in London. And in the Harleian Miscellany, it states that he left behind a man and a maid, the one hanged for a witch, the other for a thief. An interesting man indeed. Also on this day in history, 14th of April, 1578, James Hepburn, Duke of Orkney and fourth Earl of Bothwell, who was Mary, Queen of Scots, third husband, died at Dragsholm Castle in Denmark. He'd been held at the castle in appalling conditions and it was said that he'd been driven insane. You can find out more about him in last year's video. And now it's just started raining on me. It's quite nice, actually. Um, you can subscribe by clicking just about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. And you can, of course, give me a like and leave a comment. Please do give me a like. I'm sitting here in the rain for you. Bye-bye. <laughs>